So here we can see um, both of the templates side by side. You've got the Ruche um, Godseed Chris code based on octant geometry, and you've got the Metatronic code based on fallen um, sextant hex geometry. Um, basically, what happens is because this has now been changed into a, um, a hex geometry, um, the cells can no longer phase together um, because the trivecker phase cells are no longer there. So the phasing that normally takes place to create the backflow return with God's source consciousness field can now no longer take place in this template. So therefore, this becomes a fallen finite template um, and it only has the quantum of energy in it at the point when it became um, fallen in this structure. So it will eventually it will burn out its own quantum. Um, and the only way to keep this structure going is for it to feed vampirically off living Christ code templates, which is what's been happening on this planet for a very long time. You've got like whole soul groups of people, fallen angelic beings who are running this program and they use this planet as a giant energetic feeding system. So again, by changing the number of phase cells prevents the cells from phasing together to create backflow return with God's source consciousness field. Thus, it's unable to replenish its quantum. This is, um, this is eternal life creation. This is the, the, the Ruche God Seed, also known as the Christ Code, K-R-Y-S-T, the Christ Code. And this is based on octant geometry. So instead of having the six balls round um, the center, you actually have eight. So if you start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have eight balls around um, the center and you actually have like four in the center. So it creates um, 12 spheres and the center points as well. So if you just remember this shape, um, what it actually is, is um, these cells here, these three cells together, they form something called a trivecker. And what they are, they're, they're phase cells. So um, one of these cells will be a, a male positive and the other one will be a female negative, speaking in terms of polarity. And what happens is these two cells will phase together. They pull together to become one and then they pull into this cell here and then they pull into the center. And the same things happens with here. You've got a, a positive and a negative. They phase together to become one, pull into this cell and then pull into the center. Now, the whole thing breathes like a living, eternal life um, circulatory system where when all the cells pull together and pull into the center, it creates a process called backflow return, which will open up a, a conduit, if you like, to God source consciousness field itself. And, it, and when, it when all the cells come back out again, they replenish themselves with um, a brand new set of quantum like frequency from God's source consciousness field so in order to have a living eternal life system you've got to have um you've got to have this arrangement of cells where they can phase together and create the backflow return if you mess around with the number of spheres then it stops the cells being able to phase and create backflow return with God's source consciousness field okay so this planet is externally governed in 3D by numerous fallen angelic bloodlines and soul groups who are only interested in us as quantum food. The entire system we live under here is a giant elaborate structure designed to vampirically feed on the energy of humanity and transfer it to them for the, so they can feed on it to sustain their fallen templates. The Christ code and the fallen Metatronic code have very different um, geometries they function by. The fallen Metatronic code creates the flower of life or daisy of death pattern, Metatron's cube and the Fibonacci spiral. These are all faces of the fallen Metatronic code and as such they are all black hole death mechanics. Okay, so this is the nasty mess that causes the Fibonacci spiral. Um, this shape here is referred to as Metatron's cube and as you can see it's based on hex geometry, number six, because it's got six balls. Um, and you can actually see here, it's, it forms like a hexagram. Um, so I'll, and this here is called the flower of life, which is basically 
all of this is it's just a face another face of this um fallen creational code program now what what actually happens in the metatron's cube um template you have um six increments of 60 degrees to make the 360 degrees so each one of these increments is a 60 degree increment okay so that's one of the ways that you can tell a fallen template by its 60 degree implement uh, increment and if you look on the flower life uh, again you can see that it's it, it works on 60 degree increments okay so what you're looking at here is a cathara grid template and it's actually a series of um cathara grid templates that spiral out from the center if you imagine this shape um, it starts off um, tiny in the center and then it goes through a series of um, 45 degree increment shifts and each time it um, does the shift uh, you can actually the 12 points is at the top here imagine the blue line um, it will connect to the 12 point as the um, time wave spiral spirals outwards here 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 and here so it grows in size this is literally um the, the template that external creation is based upon and uh, the geometry of this is defined by a creational code which exists at the center now um we've got the crystal spiral which is based on the crist code first creation eternal life program and we've got the fibonacci spiral which is a fallen um a fallen spiral based on the metatronic code program uh, now on this planet for a very long time we've actually had both creational programs running simultaneously now each of these um creational programs create a completely separate reality that um with its own geometry and physics and laws and stuff like that and they're actually overlapping on top of each other we're, we're actually experiencing um both of these uh, creational code programs on top of each other at the same time um which is has caused many many problems on this planet um now what's interesting is this point here is where the two spirals will cross now if you actually look at if you actually google like the numbers of the fibonacci sequence um and follow the number this, this this spiral would be a representation of the numbers of the fibonacci spiral uh, on the fibonacci spiral you actually get uh, the number 144 which would be at this point here now the crystal spiral um also has a number progression sequence and um it also has 144 on it as well um, you'd have to see how it was actually calculated i've done another separate post on that but the number 444 is basically on the crystal spiral as well and interestingly 144 is the point where they both cross now um what and basically this this time where they're going to cross is actually in november uh 2023 so we're here somewhere in terms of time because this is like a time spiral so we're somewhere in this period here just before that they cross we've got about this planet has long had two competing creation templates the original eternal life chris code template and the fallen finite metatronic code template this has been a big problem here and in the entire prosiac milky way galaxy for billions of years a lot of nature here has actually been following the dominant metatronic code template geometry for a very long time which is why you can see it in nature in things like sea seashells and snowflakes and things like that if you just google like images of snowflakes you can see that it's following the um the metatronic code template i.e um increments of 60 degrees uh so one of the biggest lessons is that just because something is seen in nature does not mean it's natural it only seems that way um, if you're unaware of both creational templates and how they both outpicture into nature's geometry. The Christ code 
is based on octant geometry and base 12 mathematics that govern its energetic dynamics and eternal life capabilities. So the metatronic template spiral is designed to latch onto the crystal spiral and pull it inwards, thus breaking its natural connection point. Once the crystal spiral is broken, it leads onto a whole set of unnatural template events that ultimately leads to a loss of template cohesion and a falling of that template into metatronic status if remedial action is not taken. Due to extreme intentional misuse of free will against the natural laws of Chris Code Temp the Chris Code template by numerous fallen angelic groups, a process was triggered in August 2011 called Failsafe, which is an autoimmune response in the body of God Source Consciousness Field itself to protect the integrity of the Christ Code first creation program if the integrity of the Christ Code is threatened beyond a certain point. Failsafe is an extremely rare event to occur in manifest creation and certainly does not always occur when systems are about to fall. On the 8th and 9th of November 2023, the metatronic harness spiral that is attempting to pull the crystal spiral, spiral down into fall alignment will fail due to the crystal spiral being hosted and fortified by internal creation plasma frequencies of the failsafe host. When the crystal spiral breaks free of the metatronic spiral time wave, the planetary Christ code template and planetary metatronic fall template will be separated and therefore will be two literal separate creational programs generating two overlapping realities. As the crystal spiral uh, continues on, um, which on this diagram would be um, this phase here, the metatronic spiral will fall behind. The fatally, who are a particularly nasty group of fallen angelics, are working hard to secure as much quantum as possible on the descending time wave. I suspect this is partly responsible for our current planetary situation. There's a huge push forward in awakening occurring as the two time wave spirals progress towards November 2023. Some are choosing which time wave spiral they want to follow last minute. So basically, because of this time factor involved, where, uh, where you're going to reach this snap point here, there's a lot of people whose higher selves are screaming at them to wake up. Because if they don't wake up now, it's basically they're going to end up going on this metatronic fallen time wave. So um, there's a lot of people going to be waking up big time right now. <laughs>